Ay, nakalive na tayo. Teka muna po. Nahanap ko lang yung link na namin. Um, ano pala? O, si Rampia. Matabi niya. Ano ba yan? Palagi mo na gano'n ang start. Ang titan mo naman sa kanyang show. Pero ano po ang magkagawa ko? Eh, kailangan ko po talaga ng i-share ko yun. For a while. Mabilis na mabilis lang po ito. At least bear with me. Alam niyo naman ako. Uh, very prompt sa pag-share uh, ng link natin. Dahil maganda po episode na yun. Sa afternoon na excite ako. Ay, para ba naman, palagi naman ako na excite Just ko, I mean, every, every episode of um, of pageantry norms excites me. Uh, not just because of the topic, but because of the guests na I painstakingly plan ahead in advance and invite ko sila in everything. Ito nga lang pong season 6. Talagang hindi ko magawa yung aking ginagawa before na two, sometimes three weeks in advance na finalize ko na yung lineups ko. Ngayon talagang para ba akong sabi ko nga sa direct ko si Gerard na gumipi na ako talaga. Gumipi na ako sa sa lapit ng mga guesting schedules because sometimes when you have an ongoing pageant talaga, you have to play around dates as well. Hindi, hindi siya madali. Uh, but it's all good. So, masaya tayo. Parang yung panahon lang ngayon, um, buong araw, init-init, but somehow, I feel like may mga sinyali sa naman ng kulog ako na rin before we went on live. It's cloudy game. Baka muna na naman. So, uh, what else is new? This afternoon, we are continuing with our uh, series on the Miss Universe Philippines 2021 Final 30. Uh, hashtag Inspire You and Me. This is the third part of the series. Hopefully, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Papaabot ko po ito up to four parts up to next week. Hopefully. Uh, depende po yan sa schedule ng mga uh, final 30 candidates on how it will play out. Uh, kasi alam niyo naman po, sa September 25 na rin nakaschedule ang finals nila. So, that's practically three weeks away. So, malapit po. Kaya, uh, ako rin po na excited kasi siyempre may isa pa na siya pageant Miss World Philippines which tentatively set for September 19 naman in London po Convention Center pero mukhang hindi pa po planchadong planchado yon so we'll see we'll see how things are um, finalized in the coming weeks at saka um, for Miss Universe Philippines also um We have five guests for this afternoon. Two of them will be sharing one frame. Magkasama po kayo sila where they are staying right now. And uh, let me introduce them to you one by one. Okay, okay. Our first guest is um, the lady who's representing Antique Province in this universe, Philippines. Um, sinabi ko na po sa kanya po sa backstage earlier na the very first time I saw her introduction to Bill. May aliw factor po ako sa kanya. Um, number one, she's taekwondo black belter. So doon pa lang napi ko, ah, something na ang anggol yun, taekwondo siya, taekwondo jin. Tapos the, the way she speaks, um, ang ang gaan gaan ng dating niya, no? Kaya I look forward to her um, entries sa challenges every time. Kaya natuwa ako when she finally, I know that she has been doing competitively well. Tapos ngayon, uh, ay teka shout out lang po tayo for uh, for uh, our, our one of our guests for Miss Antique, Ivy Gail Baladiang Benito. And John, John Michael Rigondon. Go, 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 Antique. Friends, let's welcome. Representing the province of Antique and Miss Universe Philippines, 2021 phenomenal woman, 
Noelin Rose, Mabuhay Campos. Mabuhay, Noelin! Hello! Mabuhay and welcome! Ang kanyang, opo, ang connection po niya is natutuwa lang ako dahil palagi ko nangangarag siya ngayon dahil, ayon! Go! Hi, Noelin! Hello! Ang video mo, hindi ko narinig ang boses mo. Nakamute ka ba, Neng? Nakamute ka ba? Noy? Ayan, video mo. Audio, Hello. audio. Ayun, ayun, ayun. Narinig na kita. Hello po. Noy? Hi, ayun, Hello. Noy. Narinig na kita. Nagkakatuwa. Ang ganda-ganda. Parang nila... Parang sipa ng taekwondo rin talaga ang ano mo ngayon, ang dating mo ngayon, Noy. Hello po. Can you hear me? Yes, Noy. I can hear you. I can hear you, Noy. Noy. Bumati ka naman muna sa iyong mga kababayan, sa antiki at sa iyong mga fans and supporters. Bumati ka muna, Noy. Thank you po, Tito Norman. Thank you po for inviting me. O oh, ano ba ala ka bang party sa mga taga Hello po. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Papakantahin pa kita kung gusto mo. Hello. Okay. Hello everyone. I'm happily I've arrived safely and happy here sa Manila. With my team. So Duro duro gid nga salamat for your support. We're finally here. And... Noy, <laughs> We're a few uh, weeks from. Nalulo ka ako. Akala ko naman sasabihin mo, I'm happily married. Akala ko sabihin mo yung, I'm happily married. Ah? Pana, I'm happily with my team here. In, in Manila for mm-hmm. Miss Universe Philippines and uh, how no, how did the Taekwondo black belter like you how were you convinced to actually go into pageantry noy ano ba paano ka na convinced ng accredited huh? partner of Antique para para mag ano MUP hmm. actually Tito Norman this was really a dream of mine bata pa lang ako Parang, I would practice saying my name with the Philippines in it. I would say, Nolan Rose Mabuhay Campos Philippines. I would do that in the mirror. Because I know na suntok sa ban po yung pangarap ko. Because I, parang, compared. Compared to the other girls, which are, are top caliber, they're very experienced as well. Parang, sabi ko, parang impossible atong mag-miss in Yes, I'm tall, but I don't have the connections, I don't have the career that will, but, you know, help me be there be in the line tapos galing pa akong province and, and I know for a fact that antique before doesn't usually yes no way Continue. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, noy, na wala uli ang ang audio mo noy. Uh oh. Na ingyan ko. You're having difficulty connecting. Uh oh. But um, ang ganda ganda kasi ng face mo naman ngayong hapon. Uh oh. Hindi naman ngayong hapon lang. Nagang ano lang. So. Mabalikan po natin si Noy, nagkakaroon lang po ng technical difficulties. Ito po, sabi ko papakilala because they're sharing one frame for this afternoon. 
um, from Visayas and Mindanao po sila. Uh, one of them is actually from Bukidno. Um, she's uh, this surfing islander of a beauty from Bukidnon. And the other one is uh, this beauty from Negros Oriental na from the first time that nilalabas niya yung kanyang photo for Miss Universe Philippines, ano na siya, markado-markado na rin sa competition. Oo. Kaya um, hindi na ako nagtaka that both of them actually made it to the final 30 of Miss Universe Philippines 2021. Friends, i-welcome po natin from Negros Oriental, Grace Charmaine Vendiola, and from Bukidnon, Megan Julia Roa Digal. Charmaine, Grace, ay! My God! Para sa mga silang ano, kambal, ano, oo, oh, oh, kambal karibal, ano ba? <laughs> Uy, Ang, ano ba yan? Bumati nga muna kayong dalawa na naluloka ako. Kamusta? Oo. Batiin mo naman ang mga ano mo, ni Grances, fellow ni ay, mga supporters mo sa Negros, Grace. Sa tanang taga Negros, yung tao, hi! <laughs> Meet Miss Bukidnon. Hello sa mga taga Bukidnon. Ako din ni Karun Obansi, Miss Negros. <laughs> Wapa na si Grace Mendiola. <laughs> Nakakaloka ang dalawang babaeng ito. Para ba akala mo, saya Miss Twins na nakadikit sa gilid nila, hindi ba pag-iwalay? Pero natutuwa ako na when I oh, when I introduced the two of you earlier, sinabi ko nga, right from the start of the competition, pinalabas pala yung mga photos niyo and all, Um, I've already had this liking to both of you. Dahil Dahil, ayaw mo ko ba, gano'n ako yung pagpagpunyari, parang sabi ko, eh, gusto ko siya, eh, gusto ko siya, parang gano'n. Yung unang picture, kasi mo, mo, ito mo yung unang picture mo, Grace, tapos ngayon makikita kitang ganyan. Yung unang picture mo na parang, ay, ano ba yun? Parang siyang misteryosang babaeng, naglalakad sa gitna ng didim, parang gano'n. Oo. Tapos to naman si Megan, sabi ko, alam mo, I'll be honest with you, Megan, ha? the very first time you intro video mo, sabi ko, Ay, alam mo, I like her. Kaya lang, parang tourism video ng Phuket yung pinapanood ko. Parang gano'n. <laughs> and then, parang ano na lang din, kasi a big part of my life is my surfing, I mean, lifestyle. I, I was talking about Phuket. And parang may patabog din mamaya sa tourism video ko. Kaya oh. bangan yun. <laughs> yun na. Nako, ewan ko ba, na natin kung anong surfing sa bukid nun ang gagawin niya. Nakakaloka. Surfing, surfing na may hawak-hawak na mga pineapples, tingnan lang natin kung kaya niyang gawin yun. <laughs> Oo. Of course, uh, oh, yun yung, yun oh, yung kabayo naman yung sinakyan niya dito. Ay, yun. Oh, hindi ba? Nakaka, nakakaloka lang ang magiging ano. Kasi ang, ang, dating, ang dating kasi ni Megan doon sa video is, oh, yan siya. Oh, parang tinan mo, parang, feeling expat sa Phuket ang dating niya na parang yabang-yabang. Ganun ang, ganun, ang, ganun ang unang impact noon. Habi ko, ay, ano ba yan? But parang, baka, baka mamaya suplada in person itong batang ito. Iwa ganoon, iwa ganoon, ano pa eh. Iwa ganoon, Ken, may panong una. Tapos, tapos pag tumatagal na yung habi ko mag-challenges, habi ko, ay, oo, ano pala siya? Oo, mayabang nga pala siya. Oo, totoo nga. <laughs> si Grace naman, itong, itong si Grace talaga, pamisteryosa talaga itong babaeng ito. Sa so, lahat, ko, ano ba itong babaeng ito? Para bang feeling mo, ano siya? Parang, parang murder mystery ang kanyang appeal palagi na para bang, pa, 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 ano bang, pa, pa, Misteryosa ang effect niya kapag ano. Hindi ba, Grace, tama ba ako? You were the one who, you, you were an FA before. Tama ba? Oo. Uh, ano, one of our airlines ba? Or a foreign airline ba? Sasha. Ano, Sasha. Sasha. <laughs> Nakatal? Opo. <laughs> Ay. So, naka-assign ka doon sa kanilang ano, exclusive royal lounge, yung kanilang exclusive lounge na pang-DIT. 
Ay, hindi naman po din. Tumilipad lang po. Hindi po ako oh, na... Oo, kasi may mga nakilala rin ako before na nag-pageant na, na nagtrabaho with Qatar Airways. Isa nga sa kanila. Doon na naka-assign sa As first figure. class. Oo. Ibig sabihin, may matanda na. Oo, matanda na siya kaya ganoon. Ganda na lang si Bion. Oo. Ano ba? Ba't napuputo lang audio mo? Ano ka ba? Para ang likot-likot mo yata si Grace Charmaine Ben Viola. Oo. Oo. Parang kung tuwa ako tinatawag kayo ng full name nyo because um, you know, I have this thing kasi whenever I do coverage for pageants and tutuwa yung mga babae when, whenever I call them kompleto, kompleto ang name name, second name, pati ang middle name, pati ang pati ano. Pero habi ko, pag natandaan ko lang o oh, Eh, si Megan, ang daling nandaan, Megan Julia Rowan Nicole. O, si Grace, na, misa na ano ko pa, Grace Charmaine Venezuela. Pero alam ko, nilalagay na sa MUP yung middle name mo. Ano ba, nabuwa ba? Nabu- ano ba? Ah? Banwa. Ba? Banwa, oo, banwa, banwa. Ba't ba nabuwa? Na banwa, oo. Pero, ayaw ko mga na yung Grace Charmaine Venezuela. Parang flower vase lang ang dating. Grace Charmaine Venezuela. Ano parang flower vase ang dating niya? O, Wala, nakakatuwa. Alam mo, ito pala si, ano, ito pala si Megan, pagkausap ko na palang ganito, ano siya, um, hindi na siya bukang mayabang, uh-uh, uh-uh. hindi na siya, ano. I think siya uh-uh. yung, kalimutan ko na ba, mas maladong pila, parang isa ka, hindi ko pa siya nakilala, kasi nga nakamas, so siya na yung nag-hi, so then, oy, ito kami nito. <laughs> Oh, kasi nga pag pag ano, pero ngayon habi ko, ay iba ang dating niya pero Islander beauty talaga ang dating niya. Tingnan mo naman ang dating niya, ho. Oh. Para bang nakaupo palagi sa ilalim ng puno ng coconut at lalo. Naghihintay ng ma- magpapaturo ng surfing sa kanya sa ano, sa <laughs> beach para ganoon. Vegan, oh. do you ano, can you speak Sina? Yes, konti lang po, survival. Kasi when you go to the markets, yung mga ganon, yung mga local area, uh, yung numbers, yung kung magkano, magkano yung price, and kung bilhin of an item, those things are very essential when you're in Thailand. Yeah, so, so, panit- so pag kunyari, sinabi ko, an- ano nga sagot mo pag sinabi ko na, pomrakon. Pomrakon. Oh Ano? Ano? Ano yun? Pomrakon. Sabi yan. Alam mo ba yun? Oh? Oh, sabi ko lang. Uh, ma- Kot-hot ka. Uh, may kot-shay ka. Puta, init noy na. <laughs> ay, ay, nakakaloka. Pomrakon means I love you. Ay, oh, hindi ko nasabihan ng ganyan sa normal. Uh, oh, sige. Ito na lang. Paano pag kumakain ka, tapos order ka? Ano ibig sabihin nung? Petnet noy. Petnet noy. Little spicy. Ay, alaw niya. Oo. Aroy! Ano po? Aroy. Aroy, masara. <laughs> Oo. Oo. Alam na ako alam. Yun na alam ko. Oo. I love you. Parang kasi hindi ko yan nagagamit. Hindi ko na-apply sa night. Charot. <laughs> ah. Ako nagamit ko, Mika. Nagamit ko. Because there, there was a time in the past. There was a time in the past that uh, I left my heart in in Bangkok. There was a time. So, nagamit ko siya for a while. Ngayon hindi ko na ginagamit. Oo, kaya nag-stick mo na sa mind ko. Masarap mo na sabi ang pamra ko na eh. Kasi parang... parang Ah, ang sarap-sarap lang. Pomra ko. Nakakalo. Nag, nag-teach sa akin. Pinkit ako sa Thailand, pero never ko yung naano na lang. From you lang talaga. Eh, kasi naman yata, ayaw mo magpaligaw doon. Nakakalo ka. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Nakakalo ka. All right. Ladies, interview ko lang iba pa. Introduce ko lang iba natin guests pa before we go into group discussion. O yung audio niyo naman, linawa niyo naman para makayo siyang ano, nagtago ko war sa audio, nanonoka ako. Our next guest po is, ito eh, 
Our next guest is the most pressured, one of the most pressured delegates this year because the reigning title holder is from the same, the same place that she's representing. Uh, and she is one of the most exotic looking among them. But ang ganda ganda po ng, ng combination niya, meron siyang Filipino, uh, uh, Malaysian Indian, na, na lineage. So, uh, ang kinalabasan na ito, our guest, the phenomenal woman of Iloilo City. Friends, please welcome Kesha Portnam Ramachandran. Hi, Kay. Hi! Hi. Oh, tinan niyo po ayos ni Kay ngayon. No? Mukha siyang very intelligent student of uh, doing her modules this afternoon. Oh, hindi ba? Kay, pakibagay mo muna ang mga fellow Ilonggos mo. Patiin mo muna sila. Yes, yeah, so mayong hapon sa inyo tanan. Kamusta ka, Modera? And always keep safe. Nakakatuwa po, tinan niyo naman yan si Kay. O pag isipin niyo, tinan niyo yung kanyang mga latest photoshoots sa mga pasabog. At tinan niyo ngayon yung gete mo, simple yung bata lang po ito. Wala pong komplikado sa kanya. The only thing complicated with her is when she's playing basketball. At talagang na. So ano, ano nga ba, ano bang position mo sa basketball pang galaro ka, Kay? Center guard. Wow. Oo. Pasensya na ha. Ang alam ko lang kasi security guard eh. Hindi ko alam yung mga security guard. <laughs> oh, alam ko parang may guard, may, 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 may guard, shooter. May center, may Ganun. shooter. Merong bench warmer. Merong uh, mascot. Yung mga ganang mga bagay ba, no? Kaya, eh, nakakatuwa. Okay. Okay, ito nga. Di ba introduction ko sa'yo kanina? Sabi ko nga, She's one of the most pressured because the reigning title holder, Rabia, is also from Iloilo City. And now, she is the one representing Iloilo City. Uh-oh. Do you consider it a pressure on your part, Kesha? Or... Kay na nga lang natawag ko sa'yo na mapagod ako sa Kesha Pornam. Apat na syllables ka sa'yo. <laughs> oh, sige nga, Kay. Is there pressure on your part? Yes, yeah, somehow... Grabe yung pressure sa akin because yes, Miss uh, Miss Rabia kasi the, um, a lot of people are expecting a back-to-back so I'm double-timing everything. Oo. Kasi ang, ang, ito po ang backstory niyan. Si Kay po, actually, she was the first runner-up during Miss Iloilo where, when Rabia won. So, automatically, kasi hindi nga po nagkaroon ng, ng bagong um, search for Miss Iloilo, as first runner-up, siya po yung mag-move up to represent Iloilo City in Miss Universe Philippines. So, kumbaga, when, 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 when those things happen to you na nangyari, na ikaw bigla ang manalagay doon, alam ko, nag-chat pa tayo noon, meron ka pang sagot sa akin sa chat natin na para hindi ka pa 100% talaga noon, tinitingnan pa how things are. Ano mga considerations mo? Ano mga, ano mga sinet mong... Uh, mga conditions for yourself in, in joining and becoming Iloilo City's representative? Um, I, syempre, uh, as you all know, na the last two years was not that good, so I changed my mindset. Uh, lahat po change ko to, to be better. To be better because I know na this pageant is not just a pageant. This is a very big pageant for me. Oo. Kasi nga, actually, ito ang sinabi ko sa sa backstage. Nung nirelease na yung mga interview challenge videos nyo, um, nung pinapanood ko yung sayo, sabi ko, then pinapanood ko lang, hindi pa ako nung surprise. Eh. Tapos, towards the middle, saka sa, patapos ako ng mga ko, ayun. Well, it, that, it, it, it was when you became a little more emotional doon ko nakita ang gusto kong makita kay Kay. Kasi, kasi alam mo, yung, 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 yung impression kasi ng maraming tao with Kay is para bang ano siya, yung parang, para bang, ang ano niya, parang very firm, very, very, parang iron ang, ang, ang exterior mo na parang uh, hindi ka masayain tao, super seryoso ka. Pero nung nakita ko yung second half ng video mo na 
Sabi ko, ayun, habi ko gusto ko yung gano'n, yung medyo malapit na siyang maiyak, yung mga gano'n, yung mga gano'n mga part. Oh, how are you feeling? Umiyak during... na po ako doon. Kaya nga, oh, how are you feeling during that, ano, bakit na bigla bumigay na doon? Oh, Actually, alam ko, Tito, the day that... Hmm, alam ko naman kung bakit yes, na iyak doon, pero ano na lang, yung baga parang, kwento mo lang yung mga incidental around it. Okay, so the day po that uh, I was interviewed, hapon po kasi yon. So the mm. morning, my school really, uh, my school released those lists na gagraduate. So I was not belong to the list. So it 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 really hurts that day, na because I I was expecting to graduate, so I didn't. And siguro that was the reason why he I brought it up in the interview at the afternoon. Ayon, ngayon now I can fully understand yung pinag yung hugot mo noong yung interview na yon. Oh, because parang fresh na fresh pa in your mind yung the morning na dapat ano. Pero uh, let's not focus on on that part. At least parang naman happy lang tayo this afternoon kasi yes. um hindi man mawala yung ano mo schooling mo eh. You can always go back to it. Matatapos matatapos mo you're still young, you're only 20, right? You're 20, di ba? Yes. Oo. Yes, pa. Wala ka, wala ka namang love life. Unless may alam, may hindi meron ako hindi nalalaman. Oo. Pero alam ko naman, ay, meron yung love life. Kaya gano'n. <laughs> hindi yan. naman po. <laughs> ano lang, parang lang, parang lang, pero hindi naman talaga, hindi ba? Oo. Parang, parang, parang lang. Parang lang, parang... Parang meron, parang wala. Parang kayo, pero parang hindi. Parang ganoon ba? <laughs> parang pelikula yata ni Kylie Barso sa'yo. Parang kayo, pero hindi. Nakakaloka, no? O, pero ano mo, alam niyo po, viewers, natutuwa ako, nakikita ko tong side na to ni Kay because um, hindi po siya suplada. Never. Huwag niyo pong iisipin suplada. Hindi siya suplada. Ang tendency lang talaga, yung facial expression niya, para akala niyo, super seryoso siya all the time, na para bang ang hirap niya pangitiin, mag-crack ka man ng joke, parang hindi gingiti. But actually, consider the fact she's only 20, so mag-an lang po tayo. Ito niya, tita niyo, oh, mag-an lang po siya, oh. O, tanya niyo po, mas malaki pa ang frame ng salamin kesa sa akin. Hindi ba nakakaloka yun, oh. O, oh, tamo sa kanya. O, oh, doble ng frame ng salamin ko. Yung frame ng salamin niya. O, oh, talagang nag-aaral siyang mabuti. Oh. But are you still playing basketball up to now? Okay. I'm planning to get back in track po. I'm just facing, finishing some sessions of therapy. Hmm. Uh, ibig sabihin, nagkaroon ka ba ng parang um, uh, injury, injury or something? Oo. Oh, oh. Yes. Oo. Oh, oh. Oh, kaya ano, hindi ko natatanong pero gusto ko parang itanong sabi, ano ba sa paaba? sabi ko ba? sa ano ba? Um, sa lower back nagapakiropractor ka ba? ang sabi niyo bang may mga yes. sessions ka ba? ay, nakuin yung mga ano hindi ba? yung pinapatunog ang buto mo every time na yes, super satisfying po siya alam mo actually matagal ko nang gusto yan talaga. Dahil pag pinapanood ko, pag, every time I get to watch the video on Facebook, sabi ko, parang napakasarap niyang panuurin. Ibang, akala mo masakit, pero actually, it it gives this Ang very... Ang sarap sa feeling. Oo. Oh, pero masakit ba siya sa unang, unang beses? Um, kasi hindi sila gumagalaw if masakit. First of all. Oh, okay. So, ibig sabihin. But I, I think, I think yung, yung, yung uh, specialist naman would know uh, kung pwede niyang galawin yung buto mo sa record or something like that. Oo, sa akin kasi pag ganon, pag, pag, if I need to see one, I need to see someone who's very good looking, preferably someone who who looks like <laughs> Uh, Ryan Reynolds or Dwayne Johnson. Mga ganong tipo ba? Para para naman, feeling ko, yung pag yung buto mo talaga in-adjust nila, para bang real, well protected ka. No? Hindi ba? Nakakalaw ka talaga. Okay, no? Kaya, okay. Sige po. 
Now, I'll introduce our last guest natin this afternoon before we go into group discussion. Um, okay, sinacheck ko lang po kung nasa backstage na siya. Friends, our final guest this afternoon po, ang fifth natin. I've known this girl for quite some time now because I've seen her pageant journeys in other national competitions. And uh, this year, ano po siya? Seryoso po siya. Hindi po siya, she's not joining Miss Universe Philippines on a whim. She has a, she's a, a phenomenal woman with a plan and um, she intends to um, make sure that the, the plan becomes a reality. Win or lose, pero more on the win side tayo with her. Friends, please help me welcome representing Albay. Janela Joy Quaton. Hello, Janela. Hi! Hi, 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 Uh, friends, uh, Janela, bumati ka muna sa ating mga viewers right now. Bati muna. So, hello po sa ating mga viewers. Thank you for watching Tito Norman's vlog and of course supporting me and the girls that I will be sharing this interview with. It's an honor. Thank you so much. Oo. Uh, as I've said po in my introduction of Janela, matagal ko na pong kilat ng batang ito. Uh, I've seen... So many, I've seen her so many times. Kung ba nakilala ko siya in so many ways. And uh, pati ang kanyang younger brother na guwapong nagsikat sa TikTok na si Joseph na na rin. No? In-emphasize pa talaga yung guwapo. No? Yes. Tito, no. ano yan sa pamilya namin, I can say proud ako sa lahat ng mga kapatid ko. Oo naman. Diyos ko, syempre. Dahil ano naman eh, um... Biro mo, it's not, hindi biro na ano, na to excel in what you do. And to excel in what you do and still enjoy what you're doing, bonus yes. na lang yung enjoy mo pa, no? O, That's kina, the key to mag- happiness in life. Kailangan nag enjoy ka all the time. O, o para nila naman pag-join sa Miss Universe Philippines yan. Joining Miss Universe Philippines and at the same time having a love life, hindi ba mas enjoy? Yes, you can have both worlds. Why choose one when you can have both? <laughs> Yun nga po sinasabi ko sa babaeng ito. Alam niyo po, ganito lang kami mag-usap ni Janela. Pero alam niyo, kapag seryoso na po usapan namin, she really turns into serious mode. Pero I, I specifically ask the ladies that we should, we need to have a fun um, fun discussion this afternoon. Nothing na sobrang heavy. Of course, this is the second part. Second part medyo, medyo seryoso tayo ng konti. Pero we need to make this um, fun all together dahil pag tinitin ako ang background mo dyan, parang nakaupo ka sa throne. Parang yes. throne yan. Oo, parang ano Alam, ba yan? Parang... Kinakarir, kinakarir ko na tito yung pagiging ano, beauty queen. So kailangan may Oo. throne ako. Tapos in-imagine ko na yung sarili ko kung saan ako pupunta. <laughs> yan nga ba? Ang sinasabi ko eh. Have you been to Israel? No, I've never been but I'm excited. Would you like to visit Israel? Oh yes, I will definitely go to Israel. Would you like to visit Israel in December? Yes, I am. Kahit November, Patito. Gusto niyo bukas na. Nakakaloka. Uh, direct, sige po, ibalik na po natin ang alat na ating mga guests. We'll start na po with our group discussion. Para naman... Kasi yung connection iba nating guests, medyo ako ay ako ay medyo kinakabahan sa connection iba nating mga guests because uh, medyo parang parang um parang tumatawid sa ano ay talaga sila mo oh, parang kambal sa uma talaga yung dalawang bakal, <laughs> si Grace at saka si Megan. All right. Okay, kumpleto na po tayo ngayon. So we'll start with our group discussion, of course. Our first part natin is Dalawang fun questions muna before we go into the serious questions. Dahil ayoko naman po na sobrang, sobrang seryoso agad tayo. So, we'll start with our fun questions. Sabi nga nila, ay, ay, ganun bang question yan? First fun question. 
Um, if you were a pet, whose pet would you be? If you were a pet, whose pet would you be? Noi, you'll be the first one to answer, Noi. Okay, hello. So I like cats and I like boys who like cats. So I would I... be bright. <laughs> I think cats love it. I like go 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 continue. I I would be bright vachero with his ragdoll cat Anne. I would be a ragdoll cat po ni bright bright vachero with from together the series a popular B O. My God, the series talaga ang pinili niya parang ang safe safe naman gusto niyang maging witness siya sa romantic ka. Scenes noong ano, noong dalawang boys, o. Oh. Iba ka talaga. Iba ka talaga, Noy. O, oh, akala mo, parang ngayon, parang concierge ka sa Okada, Manila. Pero pag nagalita ka na, parang, ay, iba ang ibang nagiging impact niya, o. Oh. Okay, pumunta tayo doon sa kambal sa Uma. Grace, ikaw muna, Grace. If you were a pet, whose pet would you be? Oh, it would be Chris Evans that ito. No. Ay, alam ko kung bakit. Alam ko, pero hindi ko pwede explain on la- live broadcast kung bakit. Well, pero nabibu- bakit? Alam nila yan. Oo. Alam ko, parang ay, ay, na- nakaka-tep. Diyos ko, parang alam ko kung bakit. Alam ko kung hindi bakit. Kahit hindi niya ko pakainin dito, maging pet niya. <laughs> Ako yung maghahanap buhay. <laughs> Kakaloka naman yan. Hindi ka mapakainin kahit man lang isang bowl ng gatas. Wala. Mag-effort ako dito. Nakakaloka. Basta maging pet niya lang ako. Ibang level, ha? Ikaw naman, Megan. <laughs> Kung ako naman po, um, because I'm a uh, Formula One fan, so fan of ng Scuderia Ferrari, gusto ko ano, maging pet ako ni Carlos Sainz ng ano, Scuderia Ferrari. Kasi he loves dogs and of course, kung magiging dog ako na dog ni Carlos Sainz, why not? <laughs> Alam mo talaga, yung, yung, yung ano mo, yung expat mentality mo talagang lumalabas palagi. Ano? Yung mayabang ka pa rin talaga. Ano? Talagang aabangan ko yung pag-surf mo while carrying pineapples on your shoulders. Talaga. Sige, Hindi join po natin yan. Titingnan ko kung saan ka makakahanap sa bukid noon ng, ng shore na makakapag-surf ka with two pineapples on both your right and left. Ah, tinan natin. Try natin. Okay. Tinan natin si Kay. Kay, ikaw. Anong sagot mo, Kay? Ako siguro. Maging pet ako ni Zayn Malik. Oh. Any, any particular reason why? Oo. Uh, Um, <laughs> because I'm here, big fan talaga ako ni Zayn, simula pa nung ano nila. At diba? gwapo siya kasi. Yes! Ay, yes. Ay, fan girl, fan girl. Fan girl. Fan girl. Oo. <laughs> ako, ako sinabi ko na naman sa inyo sa chat ko sino ako, I'd rather be the pet of Dwayne Johnson. Kasi gusto ko talaga yung ganoon, yung bang... Parang Incredible Hulk. Ang ano, kunyari ako yung poodle niya. Oh my God. Pag nadaganan ako noon sa bed, Diyos ko patay tayo dyan. Nakakaloka. Janela, ikaw, ano ang sagot mo? Ano, um, gusto ko maging pet ako nung boss ni mama kasi yung pet niya, Uh, merong inheritance na one million dollars. So, at least, social ako na aso. Meron ako na one million dollars. <laughs> Nakakaloka. Paano mag-open ng bank account yung, yung dog? Ano Hindi ba? siya mag-open ng bank account. Meron mag-open nun for, meron mag-open nun for me. Tapos, ano, ngung open na lang ako ng bibig ko, tapos may magpapakain na sa akin. Ganun ba? Diyos ko, alam mo, Janela, pag ikaw nagsasalita, malaman ka palagi magsalita. Kung hindi tayo nakalive, kanina ko pa sinak- sinakyan ang mga sinasabi mo. Kanina, since nakalive tayo, hindi ko masakyan ng, ng sobra-sobra. Well, okay. Tito, Pero, dapat nga tatanungin kita kung gaano, kung anong klase ng sagot yung gusto nyo, yung medyo appropriate, yung medyo happy lang. 
<laughs> Hindi, gusto ko talaga kung ano yung gusto niyo yung sagot. Talaga pipigilan ko na lang kapag medyo, oh my God, ano ba yan? Oh, ano ba? O, oh, tapos hindi ko lang sabihin mo bigla. Gusto mo yung ano, hindi ka mag-open ng account, tapos papakainin ka lang, husubuhan ka na kung ano-ano, tapos ako, gusto, tutigil na ako doon. I will stop at that because I might end up saying something else. Oo. All right. Our second, our second fun question before we go into serious stuff. On a scale of 1 to 10, how weird are you as a person? Rate yourself on a scale of 1 to 10, how weird you are. And be specific about it. Noy? I think I, I'm a strong 8 for In a way na, hmm, I would look at it in a way na I am, I'm thin and I'm very tall. Pero people would, would expect na I rarely eat, but I can actually eat a bowl of ramen or a bowl of pho, Vietnamese pho, na good for two people in one sitting. Strong eight. Oh, ano sabi ng boyfriend mo? Wala po kong boyfriend dito normal. Ay, nakakaloka. Alam nyo, just ko, kung ito live actual guesting na face-to-face, just ko, kukurutin ko kayo isa-isa. Ko, mga Ay, ito oh. yun. Oo. Kaya lang, maganda lang isa mong kurutin ka kasi ba, black belter ka nga pala sa type 1. Nakakaloka. <laughs> feeling ko yun, feeling ko po yun yung reason but walang may gustong mag-try. No, you just need someone who is so secure about his masculinity in wow. love. Ano doon? Para ano yan, regardless of kung hindi siya sarili mag-taekwondo o hindi siya magaling sumi, baka naman magaling magmahal ang mapunta sa iyo. Amen. Oo. Okay. Grace, Charmaine, um, ako, ano naman ako, nabuwa, ban, ban, banwa, ah, banwa, vendiola. Ano ko, ito mo talaga dito. Oo, oh, oh, natutuwa ako eh. Okay. okay. <laughs> Oo, oh, sige. O, oh, kung anong sagot mo? Um, depende sa mood ko dito. Sa tapot ang tanongin ko. Hindi lang siyang erase kasi hindi siya always. Pero, pag lumabas yung coverdohan ko, I think it would go up to nine. Sample nga. Ano, ano example nun? Ano yung... <laughs> Huwag na yun dito. Nakita na lang tayo. Okay, sama ka sa Negros. Ay, naku, alam mo. Ang dami-dami na nag-invite sa akin sa Negros. Naluloka ako dahil uh, gusto ko talagang bumunta sa... Gusto ko bumunta doon. Gusto ko... Wala pa. Mag-order pa. tayo ng tigta-tatlong ano, meal. Wow. Gusto ko yan. Doon magsisimula. Pagkakita ko po sa inyo. Akala ko kasi kung ano yung tatlong o-order rin. Eh, baka, <laughs> Ay, iba yun dito. Pero yung gusto mong yun, pwede rin yun. Ay, Ay nakakaloka. Oo. Kasi seafood yun. Seafood. Ay, po, mix. Oo. Gusto mo sa mga yun. Na spicy. Nakaka- Alam mo, nagtutuwa ako dito sa babae ito. Oo, kung butin lang, hindi ako buntis. Paglilihihan ko sa Diyos po. Megan. Yes, po. So, on a scale of 1 to 10, nasa ano ako, 11 or 12. Because I am outrageously weird talaga. As in, sobra. Kung akala mo sa ano, at first, yung impression mo sa akin is parang mayabang ganun. Nako, oh. napaka, it's so much ano, parang different talaga from what people expect me to be. Pag nakilala niyo ako, parang, ay, ganyan pala siya. Napaka weird nga talaga. In a way na, ano, ang dami. One example would be, parang akala niyo maarte, pero... Minsan, pag nagsaserf ako, tapos pag may nagyayan na, okay, kain tayo sa ano, hot pot barbecue. Tapos yung iba, sa- sasabihin ko, okay, go now na. Tapos, tapos sabi na, um, hindi ka pa magsha-shower kasi galing kami sa dagat. Ganun. Sabi ko, hindi, now na, let's go. Tapos nakatawal pa ako sa, ano, <laughs> sa head. Tapos, i-disown na nila ako kasi, huwag kang sumama sa amin pag nakaganyan ka. Kasi ako, I don't care talaga. Kung saan ako, happy, go. Lang nang go. Yeah. Lalo na pag food. I noticed that. Kakaloka. Kailan mo kami dada rin um, sa Phuket? Nako, let's go. Kung, kung pwede na, kung open na yung, ano, yung Thailand. Kasi ngayon, they're under the Phuket Sandbox Program. Pwede namang pumunta sa Phuket, pero madaming requirements like 14-day quarantine and yung mga PCR tests and and whatever. Ano pa ba? Charot. Tourism Authority of Thailand. Hello, baka naman. Charot. 
<laughs> oh, ane, sa Bukid Noon na lang tayo pumunta, Megan. Sa Bukid Noon na lang. Bukid Noon, yes. Doon talaga. Punta tayo. Pasya tayo doon. Tito, nakapunta ka na po ba ng Bukid Noon? Um, a long time ago, yes. Oo, dahil... Um, I don't know, nag, nag-day trip kami ng Bukid noon when we were in Cagayan de Oro before. Kaya, nakaalam ko, nakapunta na ako ng Bukid noon. Pero I think, yun yung puntang, alam mo, yung bitin na punta. Nagpunta uh, lang kami in the morning, bumalik din kami ng CDO in the... Naku, hindi day. enough yung isang morning lang. Dapat one week kasi magaming towns yung Bukid noon. Tapos ang daming ano... Dami magagandang tanawin, tsaka magandang gwapo. Ay, ang ganda. Ay, ang ganda. Isko, alam na, alam ko yung sasagot. Naka, nakakaloka. Diyos ko, oh, ano ba yan? Ano ba yan? Janela, bana sa'yo itong mga, ano, mga KF sisters mo ito. Manang mana sa'yo. Nakakaloka. Oo. Uh, Kay, ikaw nga, Kay. Tinan ko nga kung ano ka, kung gano'ng kaka-weird, Kay. <coughs> Siguro, um, I don't know, Tito, pero lahat na we-weird din sa akin kasi um, if we meet, uh, first time we meet, you can always see me wearing, um, kung hindi earphones, airpads, kahit kumain. Yun na, yun na yung pinaka-weird sa'yo, yun na ha? Yun lang, yun, yun lang. Ah, yung iba, sige, mag ano na lang, pag nagkita na lang kami. <laughs> Oo, wala nang ano doon, wala 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 kang kasamang chiropractor na ako-critical mo all the time, gano all. In 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 wala na po. Oh, bago natin pasagutin si Janela, ako naman po. Ano yung sa sa way para lang para na i-sing ko alam po si Janela. Papatawanin na naman ako niya. Eh. Something weird po about me. I have a bizarre relationship with syllables. Every time I talk to people I meet for the first time, Binibilang ko yung syllables na sinasabi ko sa kanya. For example, how are you? How are you? What are you doing today? Merong, there, there's this weird, weird sa akin yan. Maybe because I grew up reading. That's why I have a thing about syllables. Binibilang ko talaga like, especially if it's a new place and a very unique ang pangalan. Like, 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 in, in, like in Bukid Nod, Manolo Fortich. Manolo Fortich. Bibilangin ko talaga yung syllables. I, I, I don't know. There's a thing about me about that. So ngayon, pasagutin na si Janela. Okay, Janela. Surprise me. Ewan ko lang kung surprise mo pa. <laughs> well, mababaw sobra yung uh, from, from 1 to 10, I think I'm at a 10. Uh, mababaw sobra yung kaligayahan po. And then, magmasaya ko talagang tatawa ko. And I have weird laugh. I've been told na I laugh like an alien. I, li- I laugh like a villain. I laugh like a cartoon character. And I think over the course of the interview, maririnig niyo yung tawa ko. Kasi hindi rin ako marunong magpigil ng tawa. Hindi, <laughs> parang kaka si Ariana Grande pag tumawa ka. Oh. Ay, sana ganun Ay. kita si bosses ko, no? Masama <laughs> <laughs> ko. Oy, ano daw si Ariana Grande daw? She would rather be called Ariana Grande. 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 Oo, pinapanood. Eh, ako ba? Eh, ako ba yung Facebook? Pinapanood sa akin yung lahat ng mga episodes niya sa Victorious. Yung bang yung Sunday to Lodi on the show ng bata Ay. kasi na. Naluloka ako. Eh, anyway. Okay, let's start serious now. Serious questions for a change. Serious now. Oh so, each one of you will oh be given God. a random question. And uh, pag-feel ko, papasagutin ko ng another version of answer, pag, pag-feel ko lang. But mm-hmm. this time around, we will reverse the trend. Let, let's allow Janela to answer the first question. Are you ready, Janela? Yes, ito pag hard sa first ako. <laughs> oh, 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 alam mo naman yan. Okay, ito ha. I'll give you a very, very hard question, Janela. Alam ko naman na kahit gano'n. Alam ko na bang gusto mo ng mga hard questions. Hindi ka, Janela? Oo, ba't ba naman man. ako? Hard question nga eh. Okay. Okay. Janela. Okay. 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 Matawa kayo na parang villain. Okay, Janela. Do you think inclusivity is overrated? Why or why not? Do no. you think inclusive? Okay, go. Meron na gan sagot. Okay, go. No, for Tito, inclusivity will never be overrated just because it promotes um, 
inclusivity. It includes everyone. No one is left out. So for me, if there's a way that everyone everyone will feel like they belong in the same room, I would want that because I also had insecurities myself. I felt like I didn't belong. And so if, the ne- if there's any way that I can promote inclusivity, I would do that. All right. Is there anyone else among the four other girls who would like to give her opinion on the question? Na yon? Please raise your hand. Do you think inclusivity is overrated? Megan, over- please. No, the, the, uh, I, uh, no, 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 answer- no. Why or why not? Uh, okay, your answer to is inclusivity will never be overrated. Same as Janela. It's aside from it being my advocacy, because um, when you include everyone, we are being more tolerant, we are being more accepting, we are be embracing people to be who they are. And in that way, we allow more love, more posi- uh, positivity to prosper, to make up for all the negativity and the hate that the world is going through right now. Because now more than ever, what we need is things like love and kindness. And these are the things that we are giving out to uplift everyone when we are being inclusive. Po. Hi. Nagpapakitang gilas bigla si Megan. And because of that, Megan, you will answer the next question. Ito na gagawin pala natin. After one girl answers a new question, I'll just ask someone from the remaining four kung sino gusto magbigay din ang kanyang sagot. But not everyone. Okay? Pakala ko safe na ako. Hindi pa. Not yet. Volunteer. Okay. Megan, this is your question. This is the question para sa iyo talaga. Um, has social media made the world a better place? Why or why not? In a way, I think social media has made our lives easier for us to communicate with our friends and our loved ones, no matter where we are in the world. Also, at the same time, along with everything else, too much of something is can be not good for us social media can sometimes disconnect us to where we are at present when we are uh, actually trying to live in the moment and sometimes there can be a disconnect because we are too focused on our phones also social media has somehow become a platform to spread hate towards other people but when we put everything into moderation, when we find a balance between that, I think social media can be a powerful tool that we can use to uplift and to help each other by spreading positivity and by spreading information that is helpful to all of the people around us. Ready to go. Noi, would you like to give your... Um version of an answer for that question. Okay, just like what Megan said, I know that you have to really be responsible for with how you use social media. Because right now, with every information accessible, sometimes we tend to not filter, not filter how we use it. And sometimes go with, again, I will echo what Megan said. Sometimes we spread too much negativity. That was it can cause someone else's lives to be miserable. The cancel culture is happening because of social media as well. And I will quote Katina De Maranan in the form of modern day bu- bullying. And that's how we have to be really accountable and be really responsible of what, of what we put out there. All right. So since you're the one who gave your version of second version of an answer, here is your question, Noi. Are you ready? Uh, yes. Hopefully. Okay, Noi. Here's your question. If Miss Universe Philippines was judged based on just two areas of competition, which would you choose and why? Okay. For me, I would resonate most with the swimsuit competition and the interview. One, I would like to do the swimsuit competition because for someone who was bullied because of what she looks like, it took me a lot of time to start accepting who I was or who I am physically. And for years and years, I shied myself from wearing swimsuits because people would say, na hindi bagay sa yan, magmukakalalang payat or wala ka boobs. But it really, I was really 
affected by that. And it took me a lot of slow and steady process of reaffirming myself. Now, regardless of what I look like, I need to accept, I need to love myself because I'm my number one fan. Also, the interview, <laughs> the local interview because it's a chance for the audience, a chance for the girls to convey their thoughts and opinions about certain issues and in a way also impact other people's decisions. It's a platform for them to voice out and to connect with the audience on a deeper level. All right. Okay. Now, I'd like to get a second version of that, a uh, second version of an answer. Kay, would you like to add, give me a second version of your answer? If MUPH was judged based on just two areas of competition, which would you choose and why? Actually, I agree with Noelin. It's the swimsuit and the interview portion. The swimsuit is showing your body, not just your body, but also showing how confident you are, showing yourself. And the second is the interview, showing your intelligence, your thoughts, and everything that you have. All right. And because you're, you gave me the second version of an answer, here's your question, okay? <laughs> Since you gave me areas na gusto mo na ma-judge ka, can you please describe to me the most ideal judge for a national beauty pageant? Describe the most ideal judge for a national beauty pageant. The ideal judge for me for a national beauty pageant is a person who is open and optimistic. Who is open enough to whoever she is judging and optimistic enough to select which candidate is the best for that pageant. All right. But of course, I would like to hear a second version of answer. And Grace, please give me the honor. Second version of an answer. Uh, for me, people, uh, it should be someone who is who has an experience, of course, and who has expertise in the pageant industry. Someone who is also open-minded and flexible. Because as we all know, beauty pageants, they are going to be represented by women of different cultures and all. So it's going to be a celebration of diversity. So it has to be somebody who is open-minded and flexible. Thank you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so here is your question, Grace. Grace, if you are qualified to run for public office in next year's election, what would be the primary focal point of your campaign or for your campaign? Siguro hmm. for me, Tito, it would be more about the children. Because especially education and more on... Because with my experience, uh, I grew up without a father, so I was basically deprived from so many opportunities. And I think with that experience, it would be nice for me to share that experience and do something about it because it is something that's close to my heart and something that I would surely love. So, it would be more about the children people. All right. Of course, we need the second version of an answer to that question. So, Janela, please give me your version of an answer for that question. If you're qualified to run for public office next year, what would be the focus of your campaign? You know, Tito, I've experienced poverty in my life and I've also experienced what it's like to live a good quality of life. And so if I were to run in the 2022 elections, I would devote my time to invest. I would invest my time to find ways on how I can improve the quality of life the Filipinos. Right now, there's a lot of suffering, there's a lot of injustice, there's a lot of things that's going on that can be controlled, but we're not doing so because we pay attention to things that don't true, that don't matter enough at the moment. And so, yes, I've always believed in the good quality of life um, for the children, the elders, and sayang naman, we only have one life to live, and if I have the power to change that, I would. 
Alright. Oo. And because of that, gusto ko pa rin itanong itong question at the lad kasi nakakatawa. I'd like to see what the where, where they will be coming from. Noy, can you please try answering this question also? Okay. Dito normal ako naman po. Um, I'm an advocate for sustainable tourism. One, because I'm a tourism graduate and that's one of the reasons why I pursue the course. I wanted to go back to my community and help develop sustainable and innovative ways to preserve our destination. Because I've learned that sometimes when we get too overwhelmed or we get when we get too excited of promoting a destination, most of the time, na babaliwala na sila or na pantagdon na overuse if. I'm not sure if the, the term is correct. And I would go back and find out ways on how to preserve and promote our destination so that they won't only last for a year or two. They would last for generations after generations. Ganda-ganda ni Noy. Nakatawa ako dito. Alam mo, Noy, kung straight lang ako, didigawan kita. Kaya lang hindi ako straight. Kaya hindi nangyayari yun. Kaya lang, kaya lang, kaya lang. Alam mo na may ganun yung mga hirit ko eh. Megan, I want you to answer that question also. Yes. Yeah, so ako naman, during the pandemic, I've seen and I really appreciate the work that's been done by our medical frontliners, our nurses and our doctors, and having a lot of family and friends who have been working as nurses. I can see all the struggles and the challenges that they have done and all the sacrifices that they have just to save lives out there. And I believe that we should um they should be compensated more and their wealth the welfare of these medical workers should be something that we could we could focus on and we could improve and so if i have the power to change that then that is one thing that we should all focus on because as we can see a lot of our medical professionals a lot of our nurses who are very skilled have migrated to other countries instead of staying here in the philippines because um they because of the compensation and other is, uh, similar issues. So if we're able to to look after the welfare of our medical workers, then I think we have more chances of having our uh, health care improved for all Filipinos. Yeah. It's a good thing you answered that, uh, Megan, because right now, a lot of our medical frontliners are on the verge of giving up. Yeah, the break yeah, them. Yeah. They just they want to so much uh, surrender na sila and everything. Yeah. So, um, may follow-up question doon. If you are given that power to do something about it now, what will you do for the medical frontliners para they won't give up and they just continue with the, with the fight? Megan? I Kansi think... Mula, uh, mula, 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 yes. Mula, mula. I believe that uh, our medical frontliners, they deserve to have uh, more benefits and they deserve to be compensated more than what they are currently being compensated with because they are risking their lives on the line. They're risking the lives of their families as well because if they are infected, then, then it also it's a risk to their children. You wouldn't want to have fatherless or motherless children because they lost their parents who are fighting for COVID. So I feel for the families. I myself, I have my aunt and my uncle. They are nurses. And every day we're taking extra, uh, they're in Mukibnon and my family, they're taking extra precautions because of that. All right. Kay, how about you? You had the original question because if you're qualified to run for the elections next year, what will you campaign for? <laughs> Um, for me, po, I, as an athlete, I would campaign for the athlete to give them more attention. As we have seen that athletes has in the Philippines has big futures. Uh, one example is Miss Hedilyn Diaz. She won a gold medal in the Olympics, but she has been through a lot before she got there. So that is what I would like to campaign to give more importance and more attention to the athletes. All right. I have a surprise question for all. Na ano, na, of course, ala lang, naisip ko lang bigla ngayon and I just want you to give me an answer to it. If you are given the power 
Hindi rin, hindi alam ni Direk itong question na to, kaya they can, he, he won't be able to flash it on the screen. If you're given the power to choose one other person to make that person COVID-proof or COVID-free for the rest of his or her life, who is that one person you would choose para hindi mo na, para hindi ka namang problema na magkaka-COVID siya and please explain why. Let's start with you, Janela. You know, Tito, my mom had COVID last year. That was in September. And for me, that was one of the most scariest phase of my life just because I was already starting to think. And that was the height of the pandemic. We didn't know people were going to survive, what's going to happen to them. And for me, I was already thinking, what's going to happen to me and my siblings? Should I start working on that now if anything does bad happen to my mom? Because there was a lot of uncertainties. And just that feeling, what, I wouldn't want anyone to go through that. And so I would want my mom or any other parents out there to, to be COVID-proof just because it's a scary feeling. And, you know, your parents, they've, they've gone through a lot. But it's just right now that I'm able to provide for them, to support them, give back what they've done for me. And so I would want them to experience the life that I can provide. Ayan. Noy? <laughs> Same, Same goes question. with... Same goes with Janela po. I, if I were given the power to protect someone from getting COVID, I would want that to be my papa. Because my papa has comorbidities. He has high blood, he has diabetes. Ayun kasi ang kulit. He has high blood, he has diabetes. He has diabetes. So... I always remind him because he's also working as a he was he's working as a janitor, so he's very exposed to many people for in a bank. So if mind, actually now I always talk to him and check up on him. And if I can protect him from not getting COVID, I would I would offer that immunity to him for him. Okay, that's very nice. Grace. Ooh. Um, okay. For me, Tito, uh, it would be my grandmother. Uh, I think my gr- my mom is stronger than my grandma. So, Mama, if you're watching, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I pick you to be to be the most beautiful woman during my last pageant, but I think Lola needs it more. Um, kasi tit, uh, tito, as I mentioned earlier, uh, I grew up from a broken family. Uh, I spent most of my uh, my time with my grandmother. I moved out from my... Uh, I started living on my own at the age of 16. So, um, basically, I mean, like, I've been away from the family for, for a valid reason. Uh, to, uh, four years ago, I flew to Qatar for... One of my reasons that time is to... Uh, give her the medical needs that she was needing and when i came back i had to continue my studies so i haven't spent that much time with her and of course with her on her current age i would still want i mean to spend so much more time with my grandmother in fact i was calling my aunt last night and she was saying because i think she i i actually need to bring her to a doctor because she starts forgetting things and um I'm actually worried that it might be something serious because, um, you know, like, it's something that, you know, like, I'm, it's scary. And um, when we were talking last night, she was, my aunt told me that she just keeps on asking where I am. And it's very difficult for them to explain because this is something she doesn't understand. So um, what I'm trying to say is that our bond is just really that tight that I'm not that if I would have that power, I would really want it to give it to her. Thank you. And Megan? Ako naman, I'm so torn between my mom and my dad because I love them both. But I think for for this question, I'd have to pick my mom. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, dad. <laughs> Hi, dad. <laughs> um, yeah, my mom, she's probably the most protective person in my life. I think also, my dad is also very protective, but... I think my mom, she's always there, always ready to fight for me and whatever I need, not just me, uh, my brothers as well. She always makes sure that we get 
what what we need and at the same in the same way i would want to protect my mom at all costs because i don't know what i would do without my mom even now that i'm already 25 somehow i'm still very dependent to my mom in a way that i need to call her every now and then when it comes to little decisions because listening to her somehow calms me down and her advices always help me a lot no matter what it is i'm not saying that my dad is not like that i love them both but since you're telling me to ch just choose one person and i think my dad is physically stronger than my mom he would withstand covid so <laughs> i think my dad is listening for but don't worry sana Yeah, oh. yeah, sana wala, wala COVID. Please. Yes. Okay. For me, it's my mom because she is a nurse in Kuala Lumpur. So she would be the first person that I would uh, um, give that COVID proof something because it's very hard as a nurse. And I don't know what will happen because you know covid is very very strong it takes lives so i'm very afraid of losing her so i would give that to her for her to be to be protected all right no no kaya isip ko lang naman bigla yon all right now we come to that question again lahat kayo sasagot but because i i want to see kung anong pagkagalingan ng sagot niyo for this one so in your own words How do beauty pageants contribute to women empowerment? I know you've heard this question several times before, but siguro i-personalize yung question nyo based on whatever your advocacy is or kung uh, saan kayo nagkagaling. In your own words, how do beauty pageants encourage women empowerment? Right? We'll start with Grace this time. Ooh, graceful. You know, um, for the past few years, I think we all have noticed this, how pageants turn women into the kind of modern, uh, modern women that they are today. The, 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 the powerful woman who doesn't fear anything, who, who does do what she wants to do because she feels that and she knows that it is herself and it is up to her on what she's going to do like she doesn't care of what other people would tell her or would or would think about it it's just her doing what she thinks is right all right ibang sumagot no mga aura talaga nito si Grace Charmaine Anabua Venviola Yeah. <laughs> Megan, uh, Julia Roa di Gali ko na okay. Um, beauty pageants have evolved um, over the years, and I can say that I am very lucky and privileged to be part of this edition of Miss Universe Philippines that is very diverse and very inclusive. And being someone who stands for inclusivity, I would say that I am here to. Prove a point that pageants are not just merely a competition to see who is the most beautiful based on what you see physically. Because a woman's beauty cannot just be measured through looks. Um, beauty is all diverse and as we are all unique, we can see beauty through a woman's personality, through her talents, and through her knowledge and Through beauty pageants, we can see that there is so much more a woman has to offer than her body and her face. And it is a way for us to tell our stories and a way to show that women can be phenomenal. Women can be whoever they want to be and whatever they want to be. Yon! Oo! Iba talaga! Noy! Okay, so I really think that beauty pageant is a celebration of femininity. It's a way to catapult women in areas that they would want to go to. I answered it this way also to my, from my interview question. Well, it's a platform for women to voice out their advocacy, to be a voice for the voiceless, and to share their stories of hope and hopefully inspire others to do the same as well. All right. Janela? 
You know, everyone's answers were both amazing, but then for me, and I agree with you, but then other than that, we beauty queens, we're women who have our own um, insecurities, we have our own fears, but then we've learned to overcome it just because we know that we have a purpose bigger than ourselves. And that in itself is empowerment, overcoming your own fears because you know your life is not just for you, that selfless, that selflessness. And then also, we go through a lot of bullying, we go through a lot of mental um, battles, but then we've learned to fight it because we know, again, that we're fighting for a cause that needs more attention than our own fears. And so that is, I think, the beauty of beauty pageants. And for me, people who talk about pageantry but does not invest any time in trying to know the girls, in trying to know um, what it is about, I feel like their opinion doesn't really matter because they've never they've never invested enough time to know who we are and what we stand for. And so their opinions don't matter to me. Hindi nyo ba napang napansin yung background niya? Kanina, Trono. Ngayon, <laughs> Pillars. Pillars. Yeah. Ang, ang, Pillars. Ang, 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 Actually po, nasa floor. Nasa floor na ako ngayon kasi na, mamamatay na yung phone ko kanina. <laughs> ang nag-charge siya. Pillar ba yun? Or, or higanting chess pieces? Parang higanting chess pieces. <laughs> ano siya dito? Sorry. That's a boss. I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh. I, I start to read it's a vase. A vase. Uh, a vase. <laughs> a vase. Uh, Pasensya na. Important from Rome. O konti lang mga tao sa bus station ngayon. Kaya ako na. Joke lang. Nakakaloka ka. Hindi ko yung bus ngayon. Oo, nakakaloka. Okay, ikaw nga. Anong sagot mo? After this, meron na naman ako special question. Nakakaloka. Okay, um... <laughs> so Tito, beauty beauty pageants contribute to women empowerment um, is that women she can go out of their shell, can show the show to people what she can do, how powerful she is, how confident she is. That is what beauty pageants has come contributed to women empowerment. All right. Now, I think special ito na sabihin naman sa akin na direct. Hindi ako ready din sa question na 'yan, ha? Naisip ko lang kasi bigla nga yung to question na to, no? Actually, this question is supposedly just for Noy, Megan, and Grace. Kasi nga where I'm coming from, when all the names and identities of the Miss Universe Philippines uh delegates nung 100 pa lang, I already made para an initial short list of who is very likely to make it to the final 30. Of course, syempre, my tendency is to veer towards the more familiar faces and names immediately. Sila yung parang, ah, ito, sigurado na to. So, for example, si Janela and si Keisha, nung palang nirelease yung 100, habi ko na, papasok to, final 30 na tong dalawang ito. <laughs> For the prime reason that, uh, number one, Janela, kila ko na. Beauty queen talaga siya. Kumbaga, in pageantry, she has somehow paid her dues already. Kumbaga, ano na yan eh. Na ano na yan na, 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 na ihulma na niya yung sarili niya in pageantry. Si Keisha, kila ko na yan. Ever since beauty queen din yan. Mutiyan na Pilipinas title holder yan. So, kumbaga, alam ko, alam ko na because of the experience in pageantry, parang shoe in na sa akin, papasok yung dalawang yan sigurado sa final 30. So, which means that, ang gusto ko talaga mak makuha ng opinion here are the three, si Noy, si Megan, tsaka si Grace. Kasi, there is a big difference between, okay, pumasok ka sa 100, pumasok ka sa 75, pumasok ka sa 50, um, somehow mas madali eh because you know that the challenges will continue to be virtual. But yes. the minute you make it to the final 30, the landscape begins to change completely because you will need to 
assembled na together with the 29 others. It could be in Manila, it could be somewhere in the Philippines. For the finals, he'll be on the Miss Universe Philippines stage. Kumbaga para, oh my God, this is it. I am an official candidate now. Hindi ka lang delegate, candidate ka na. So gusto ko muna makuha opinion ng ating tatlong relatively new faces in national pageantry. Noy, Megan, and Grace. Um, how did you take it all in nung pumasok na sa Final 30 knowing that things will really change tremendously, drastically from 50, okay pa eh, kasi virtual challenge. Pag 30, ay ibang laban na to. Ay, ano na eh, kumbaga parang this is for all the marbles. Okay? Noy? You first. Oh, sige po. Um, you know, Mr. Norman, here po, I mean, back in my province, not a lot of people were known, knew me. They didn't know na I was a tumandok. We'd say tumandok. If someone grew, I was raised and grew up in a certain area, we say it's a tumandok. Last year, he was able to send a, cad- a candidate, but this year, Putag, it's very, very special because this is the first ever that a girl, a woman rather, from Antique, or was born and raised in Antique, is representing the whole province and it's 600,000 Antiquenos on a national stage. So this is a celebration and this is a chance for me to showcase what Antique and its people are made of. And I'm very lucky that we got into the top 30 because I get to be with 29 other empowered and well-accomplished women and I consider this an experience that I will be treasuring for the rest of my life. Iba rin talaga itong Noel and Rose mabuhay campus. Okay, Megan, ikaw naman. Ako naman po, oh my gosh, nasa top 30 na nga pala ako, no? <laughs> um, yeah, <What's> you? You? <laughs> oh. <laughs> It's very overwhelming kasi it's like parang suntok sa buwan nga, ng si- same thing na sinabi ni Nunolin kanina. Because first of all, I am well aware that I am one of the candidates na ano, I am probably one of the shortest. Kaya if you see me in person, parang masyashock na lang kayo, ay kasal dito. <laughs> and... Um. <laughs> and that's where I come from. I mean, ito talaga yung pinaglalaban ko ever since. I'm joining here is for me to prove that there is really hope for inclusivity in, in pageantry and that we can change, that we can be more inclusive, we can be more diverse. And that is something I'm very thankful for that Miss Universe Philippines has somehow come to change the game when it comes to pageantry. And me being here, that is like a testament to that, that, that we are indeed yeah. coming into something, something different, something game-changing for everybody, and which will hopefully inspire all the other franchises across the, across the, the world. Oh. So, being here, I'm, I'm just very nervous, to be very honest, and also very excited to show people the real me and what I have to bring to the table. Even if I'm just around 5'4", um, kaya ko ding lumaban and kaya ko lumaban para dun sa mga sinasabihang walang laban. Charot. <laughs> Nagkakaloka tong Megan Julia Roa Digal na to. Dapat pala kayo ni Ayn Berno sa pinagsama ko sa isang guesting. <laughs> oh, oh, I love Ayn. Oh, oh. Alright. Grace? Oh, for me, Tito, it was... Um... It was out of the plan, actually, joining this pageant. I mean, my last pageant was way back 2016. That was when I won the, uh, the biggest title in the province where I'm from. And after that, I was supposed to uh, join a national pageant now. But then opportunities uh, came. And then that was when the time I heard about the opportunity about being able to fly internationally. I actually flew all the way to Manila. And it was my very first attempt, Pito. I am under uh, I'm undergraduate, so um, during the time I was sitting next to people with, you know, like I was able to see their papers with those degrees and the schools where they're coming from. And I don't know, I was just sitting there comfortably, like just, I think it's because I always do things with um, prayers. And so um, 
having that connected to this pageant thing, um, I did not expect actually that I would make it this far, but you know, like since the, uh, the very beginning of the journey, I was like, there were points where, where I, will, I was like praying not to make it and somewhat pray that I would make it because um, there's this question in you, like, are you ready for this? This is something big, are you ready or what? And then all over the pro process, after all the eliminations that's been happening, I made it. And I was like, okay, so this must be another, I mean, there must be something on God's head that he wants to, you know, like give it on to me. So I'm like, you know, when it got announced, actually, um, I, I was not waiting for it, actually, because uh, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm sure my friends would just eventually call me. But to be honest, I was nervous because I was already in Manila. I flew here a day before to get my vaccine. So I just oh. got vaccinated. <laughs> and then wow. suddenly my phone started ringing. And then when I opened it, my friend was screaming, where is you, And I was in the middle of a huge crowd. And I was like... Yeah, I'm in the middle. I'm in the middle of the crowd. I'm in a mall, but yeah, so I'm like controlling myself. But yeah, it was something, Miss Igor. It's it's not na in a mayabang way, but it's something that I wasn't so surprised because you know I was just praying that like whatever happens, like let's go for it. Whatever you give me, then I'll take it. So I'm here enjoying it. I'm nervous, yes, but I'm sure I will be. Doing great with yes, all of course these you ways. Will. Yeah. <laughs> kasi naman Grace, yung aura mo daw kasi para kang ano, alta. Oo, oh, oh, <laughs> para bang altang <laughs> alta. <laughs> parang ano? Parang uh, so, shala, parang <laughs> parang you're just this ano talaga, socialite na who do lunch with the Madam. rich ladies. Oo, oh, oh. dito. I'm provincial na. Alam ko nga, oo. Oh, oh. Kasi tinatanong, kinu-question mo kanina na para ba, you flew to Manila when you applied for an airline uh, company, tapos ang mga kasama mo, mga mga magandang pinagaling yung school and everything. So ano yung bakit ka napili? Because of your aura, the, the way you project yourself. Parang ano, yung parang you, you, you try to stand on the shoulders above the rest. Oh, madam na madam ka na ka. Oo. Now, I I will reverse the question kay Janela. Kasi in Janela's case, in Janela's case, and in Kay's case also, risks are talagang all over. Kapag kumbaga, you're part of the 100, to make it to 75, there's a risk. Kailangan pumasok ka sigurado. 50, hindi pwede, hindi ka pumasok. So 30... Pag nandun ka na sa 50, pag nandun ka pumasok sa 30, nakakahiya naman pag hindi ka pumasok sa 30. Now, I want to take yung, ano mo, yung point of view nyo, Janela and Kay, dun sa regard na yun na para bang the risks involved in you going through all the virtual challenges when in fact you have already proven yourselves as beauty queens in the past. Para bang, um, and I, I, I have to go through the entire process of not knowing if I will become an official candidate. Janela, you first. Kasi mas malalim you know, mo ang kinabuhugutan mo dito eh. Okay. <laughs> no, kasi for me, um, I, I'm sure, first of all, people would think that I'm pressured to, to do so well yes. because I have a it background was, in pageant. Yes, it was my but. But then for me, I would I, I, I thought myself, I reminded myself not to compare myself with anyone and not to get into the pressure of the people around me just because I know that it won't do, do, do me well. So coming into the pageant, I made sure that I focused on myself, that I'm happy with the outputs that I bring out there. And yun yung ginawa ko na, na mindset ko. Um, nag-focus ako sa mga bagay na makokontrol ko at hindi ko makokontrol. And I think um, this would be my advice to our pageant uh, babies to make sure na you only listen to what sounds good for you because other people will give you opinions but at the end of the day, it can work for them but it might not work for you. So make sure that you have a good sense of self. And then also, um, I think for me, one of the biggest challenge is just making sure that I live up to my own expectations. Hindi sa expectations ng ibang tao. My God, spoken like a true pageant ate. Ay, 
Hindi rin po. My God. Nung time ng Rupia, ikaw pa ang bunso talaga noon. Ngayon, ate ka na. I was the youngest noon. Oo, ngayon. Ngayon, ano ka na. People look up to you na. So, the added pressure pa yan. Pero it's the beautiful kind of pressure, I think. Kasi pag people look up to you, oo. You know, Tito, everything is a perception issue. You can choose to look things in a very positive way. You can also choose to look at things in a very challenging way. And I've thought, and kay, lahat kami in Padre have taught ourselves to, to look at things in a positive way with a silver lining. <laughs> Ayan na! Okay, ikaw, same question. Kasi mutya ng Pilipinas, title holder ka na, nag-beauty queen ka na. So the risks in uh, joining Mission Universe Philippines na malam ma-hurdle mo lahat na from 100 to 75 to 50 to 30 para bang people are thinking hindi pwede malaglag yan along the way kailang pasok sa final 30 yan and that's the kind of pressure that you don't really need but it somehow is served to you because you are a beauty queen already ano man nasabi mo dyan Kay? Actually, pressures are very normal in beauty pageants. It just depends on how you take it. it can, if you take it negatively or if you take it positively. But in my case, uh, as you have said, Tito, I have uh, I have won one title, and the pressure is grabe talaga, and because of bravia also. So the the pressure is doubled. But what I did is I've set my mindset that. I would only listen to myself. I would not listen to other people because I am the person who is walking on the stage. I am the person who is speaking in front of you. And I am the person who will be in the Miss Universe, not the other people. So it is always you and yourself that will that that will help. All right. Because I was able to to achieve my plan to make this both a fun and an eye-opening discussion also because people got to know you behind those um, fully made-up faces, gowns, and everything to see you as real persons also. So, um, parting words lang natin for all our viewers. You can also share your social media accounts. What people like can expect, of course, Shepard, there are so many things that we cannot really give away at this point because um, ano pa, um, medyo confidential pa. So, parting words along what, what, what your followers, your fans, supporters can expect from you in the coming two, three weeks. Let's start with you, Noy. Okay. <laughs> Um, yeah, no, because there are a lot of supporters here. It's antique, 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 antique. Uh-uh. See, they're, Tito Norman, they're just really supportive. That's why, that's that's the reason why I am fueled to go with this journey. And I I also am excited to share with you the OOTD that we have prepared for you. I know that you've requested, and I also requested na. Our designers, our local designers will be featured with me. Our local artists will be with me throughout this journey. That is something that I'm looking forward to show you all. And I hope that you will continue to please support me and also my MUPH sisters. Po. And please pray for our safety and be safe as well. Magingat po kayo mo lahat. Thank you also, Tito Norman, for featuring us. Yeah, totoo po yun. And that's, uh, that's also one of the reasons why Maraming mga designers from all over the Philippines na mahal na mahal ako dahil love na love ko sila i-feature talaga. I want people to get to know them better para makita yung mga creations nila. All right, Megan, your turn. Parting words and what can people expect from you? So first of all, I would just like to thank you, Tito Norman. Thank you for inviting me po to be a part of this wonderful um, program, parang talk show na sobrang fun. True. <laughs> and Yes, I would like to say hello. Salamat sa tanan mga taga Bukidnon. Belated happy founding anniversary, which was last September 1st. Um, let's just uh, keep on praying that we make it. And let's enjoy this journey together. Para ni sa inyong tanan. And I hope together we can shout Bukidnon ug kusog on the finals night. Hopefully this September 25. Stay safe 
and healthy sa inyong panan. All right. Thank you, Megan. Grace? Oh, yes. Uh, sa tanang na ko sa noon, nagaling salamat sa pag-untar o pag-tabang. Also to the different organizations who help you financially with this journey. Because <laughs> imagine how tough it has been. Um, Ex-colleagues, hello. I hope some of you guys will be able to see this. Thank you so much, guys. Who else? Of course, Dito uh, Norman. Uh, my Kaya family. Peter Roach, hello. Yes, <laughs> and yeah, thank you, Peter. Thank you so much to all of you. And that's, that's it. Thank you. All right. Keisha? Ah uh, yes, actually um we'll see na lang sa finals uh, what will happen and for the past and uh, three weeks I will update everyone. So for updates you can follow me on Instagram Kesha Ramachandran for updates daily and my Facebook account which is Kesha Ramachandran. And to everyone who watched, thank you so much for watching us and thank you thank you po Tito Norman for having me here. Um it was so fun. I enjoyed it. And Please always stay safe, everyone, and get right. vaccinated. Go. Cool. <laughs> yes. And finally, finally, Janela. So again, thank you, Tito Norman, for having me. And ladies, thank you for sharing your insights. I've learned a lot from you, and I'm excited to meet you. Um, yeah. And then one of the things that our followers or the Tadi fans can do is to go to KTX and buy subscribe so you can watch the preliminaries, the swimsuit, the long gown, and of course the final night. That's only five nine nine. If I'm not mistaken, I'm bad with uh, numbers. So that's only five nine nine. And still, I'm just grateful for everyone who has constantly, continuously supported me in my journey in Miss Universe Philippines. Marami pong salamat. And kung kaya niyo pa po magbigay pa ng support sa mga susunod na araw, dahil marami pa po kami mga videos and materials na share sa inyo. And I hope that you can also give enough credit to the organization. They are doing their best and all of us have seen that. They're doing their best to provide a show that we deserve, especially during the pandemic. So, thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much, Janela. Tama po yun. Um, let us give credit where credit is due. Hindi madali to actually mount a national pageant, especially if it's carrying the brand of Miss Universe. So, supportan po na. Actually, ako, I'm, I'm quite, hindi lang quite, I'm very excited about the tourism videos that uh, all of the 30 official candidates na, hindi na delegates, candidates what? na. Oh, official candidates <laughs> na. I'm excited with the tourism videos that that will be released uh, uh, soon, perhaps the coming week. And uh, I, want, I want to see how well they have been able to promote their respective cities, provinces, or municipalities. Now, input actually, that is one area because last year, the area, the part na yan was called uh, beyond the coastline. Beyond the coastline. Yeah, and and um, I think basically it's it's the thrust is into tourism, and I want to see how creative these ladies are in presenting uh, a fresher side of their provinces. Okay. Pressure in Sayo Keisha because, of course, last year si Rabia has already presented Iloilo City. So, kung dapat special din yung no. si Noy, interested ako ng Antique. I have yes. gusto, ko ma- gusto ko makita yung side ng Antique that I've never seen before. Just like no, with uh, oh, 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 just like with Bukidnon and, and Negros Oriental. Now, yung albay ni Janela, let me see kung ano talaga ang surpresa na <laughs> nag-aabang with albay naman for ano. Kasi syempre, you have to remember, you are carrying a big chunk of the Bicol region on your back. Kasi talaga naman yung big, biggest chunk. Of, of course, syempre, hindi lang naman ikaw ang Bicol region dahil um, Narian din si... Hindi pa? Bicol Naga. region bang... Uh, Naga ba this year? Walang naga this year. Eh. May naga ba? Alam ko may ah, naga nung una. 
Noong una yata, pero ngayon sa final 30, kumbaga, nakafocus sila. Alam mo, ito yung sinasabi sa akin, ibang mga tao eh. So, paano naman, hindi niyo po finature lahat, kasi ako deep in my heart talaga, mag, mag-full blast ako na feature talaga pag, pag 30 na lang talaga. Yun ang full blast ko, pag 30 na lang, kasi sila yung makikita mo sa final stage, ewan ko, ba't tawa ng tawa si Noy doon? Kasi nito, kausap siguro boyfriend niya doon sa tabi, o? Oh? Kaya, oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, tapos sabi niya, walang boyfriend. No. Oh, may nakatayo. Ay, sabi ko niya, may nakatayo. Fairy oh, makeup oh. artist ko. Oh, oh, si Kuya oh. JM po yan. Kasi okay po, okay lang yun. yung gamit ko. Oo, oh, oh, wala naman yun. Okay lang yun. So, thank you so much, everyone. This has been episode 4 of Pageant to Norms, uh, season 6. Hopefully, hopefully po, Um, ma-schedule ko pa yung pinaka-fourth part of the series for next week, pero hindi ko pa po alam how the schedules of our final 30 um, will play out in the coming week leading to next Sunday. Pero hopefully, maitawid ko pa po yung fourth part of the series for for next Sunday bago bago ko gawin ang aking episode na all male guests ako. And I'm excited ako kasi yan. Pero meron ako, each season may isang, may isang episode na all male guests. Sana ako. Oo. Kaya gano'n. Oy, makakaloko. Yan ang pinaka, yun ang pinaka-favorite mo na, na episode. <laughs> Depende. Kasi last season, lahat ng guests ko na, na male are foreigners, puro mga, ano, puro mga Dutchmen. Kaya sabi ko, ano ba? Nagluloka ako. Oo, oh, oo. Oh. Pero for a change, eko, Megan, since we're into inclusivity, my, my all-male guest line up for this season are gay men. Gay men. No, we're not. Go for it. Who will represent oh. us, who will represent us in Mr. Gay World. So yun yun. So yan po ang ating episode. Sinasenyo sa na po ako ng aking director. Sabi, super overtime ka na. <laughs> ano ba? Nakakaloka ka. Wala po magagawa. Ganyan po ba? Ganun po talaga ang ating. Mangyayari every time. Thank you for, for joining us this afternoon. Stay safe. We're not safe from COVID yet. Nag-iingat pa rin po kayo. Aka, alam niyo minsan nagugulat na lang ako minsan may mga viber chats ako nakasama ako sa community and you hear people saying na ah things have eased up maluwag na po ngayon sabi ko ha saan ang gagaling yun kasi I, as far as I know wala pang easing up mag-iingat pa po tayo always wear your mask your face shield pabakuna na po kung dapat pabakuna and iwasan muna po ang love life kung wala pa kung meron na Wala tayo mo gagawa. Meron eh. Meron eh. Kaya kung nangiti na si Janelle, eh. Ano mo gagawa natin? Meron na yan eh. Yes. Nandiyan na yan eh. Sana oh, malayo na. naman. Malayo ito, naman. Dito sa safe pa din ako. Malayo. Oo. Oh, oh, yeah. Meron eh. Itawid na. Nandiyan na naman pala eh. Oo. Oh, oh. eh, naman tayo lang ano. Eh si Kaysia naman. Yung sa kanya is parang meron na parang hindi. Yun ang maganda doon eh. Parang meron na parang hindi. At least O, oh, yung ano lang, doon ako gofocus sa parang hindi. Yung parang meron, kalimutan muna. Parang hindi na lang muna. O, oh, eh si Grace Charmaine na buwa Benjola. Ay, nakakalo ka pag nagka-love life yan. Oo. Oh, oh. Kaya nga kami nagkakasundo ngayon. Parang kami ng mga ano, status. Charos. <laughs> well, oo. Tama lang yan. Alam nyo, tama lang yan because you are in the final 30. Kaya tama lang yan. Wala muna love life. Yes. hanggat hindi na natapos ang buwan ng September. At si Noy, Diyos ko, <laughs> tapos na ang September, takot pa rin ang mga lalaki manligaw dahil Taekwondo ba- Black Belter po siya, kaya dun pa lang natatakot na yung mga guys to approach her, thinking na, naku, baka sipain lang ako niyan. Ay, hindi naman. I'm a fighter uh, with a heart. Ayun na. Ch- Yeah, Ay, parang din lang, ano, parang si Ralph Macchio sa The Karate Kid. Ay, hindi na po nila kilala yun, viewers. Pinalabas ko na naman po edad ko. Thank you so much for joining me this afternoon, Keisha and Janela, Noy, Megan, and Grace, Charmaine, Nabuwa, and Viola. Alam mo talaga, I have, I have, that's another weird thing with me. I have a thing with complete names. Megan, Julia, Rowan, Nicole. Noel and Rose, Nabuwa, Campos. 
Eh, si Janela, alam po lang siya, Janela, Joy, Pineda, Quattro. Tama ka ba? Pineda nga ba? Pigon. 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 Hi, mali! Mali. Oh, nga. Kasi naman eh, si Sol naman kasi, ginawang Sol. Uh, oh, Keisha kaya naman. Pineda, kasi Pigon. Maiden name niya, tas Medina na siya ngayon. Pinagsama mo. Yes. Ano nga, Keisha, middle name mo? M. Pedrag. God, God. Ang daming syllables doon. Natuloka ako. <laughs> Kesha po rin na. Tempedra, drama, chan. Eleven syllables. Nakakaloka. Oh my God, may syllables yung nakikita ko. Hindi <laughs> kasha sa ano. Hindi kasha sa one port na papilipito. <laughs> Haba. Nakakaloka. <laughs> Tito si Kesha pag tinatawag ng roll call namin, natutuwa ko oh, oh. pag sinasabi yung name niya. Kaya Kesha na makita yung form na sabi ko, ay, ang ganda na yung gan. Tsaka sabihin yung Niya. Pero pag ikaw ang nasa lugar niya and you have such long name, may pressure din na para bang, para yung video ng bata na umiiyak because he needs to ra- learn writing his very long name and a piece of paper. Yes. Oo, mahirap kasi pag ganoon eh. Kung, kung, kung lahat lang tayo eh, napakasimple ng pangalan. Like, kung si Grace, Grace Venjola lang. Kung si Megan, Megan, bigal lang. Oo. Yes. Ay ko ay na, pinirimind na ako ng ate. Huwag muna kayo lumabas pag nag, ano tayo, pag picture taking lang tayo. Si Direk, kanil pa ako sa design sa overtime ka na, Queen. Medyo madilim na dito sa amin Oo. dito. Muna po na- Oo, kaya nga. All right. Thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. See you again next week. Please, let's give everyone a big flying kiss, please. Big flying kiss. Ay, alam na alam mo talaga pag ang babae hindi pa pa Chintera. Ang flying kiss niya talaga. Ano pa? Oy! Noy, magkaubalis agad. Sabi ko naman, mag-picture taking pa tayo. Direk, okay na tayo. Oo. Edna ng broad. Direk. Yes, direk. Okay na tayo.